for you to be at. The theorem of area. Well, the theorem of area to begin with in your book. I just want to use your same letters that they have here. If you are given a curve, and it will be f of x equal to, and if I integrate from a to b, I presume, from a to b, x equal to a to x equal to b. Well, that area there is equal to the integral from a to b of y dx. Now, let me explain that. Here, we are getting the area to the x-axis. If we are getting the area to the x-axis, it's the integral from a to b. a and b have both to be x values, so they do. And y has to be a function in x. So y will be, and say, x squared minus 2x plus 3. And that integral is that area. You asked me yesterday, one of you, about to the y-axis. Could I integrate to the y-axis? Yes. I could get that area there. That area is equal to the integral from a to b of x d y. Now a has to be a what value? A y value, something like y equal to 1. Up to b has to be what value? A y value will say up to y equal to 4. If I'm integrating to the x-axis, a has to be a what value? So it'll be from x equal to 1. Up to b has to be what? An x value would say up to x equal to 5. If it's to the x-axis, it's y dx. If it's to the what? To the y-axis, it's x d y. This y has to be what? A function in x. You get y equal to something like x squared minus 2x plus 3. This x has to be what? A function in y. So x would have to be equal to y squared minus y plus 2. And I'll give you examples of all of these now. So if you integrate to the x-axis, what do you get? You get the area between the curve and the axis. If you integrate to the y-axis, what do you get? The area between the curve and the axis. And I will give you examples of each of those now. If I have to find the area bounded, by the curve y equal to x cubed and the x-axis for naught to x, naught to 3. Now, the first thing we'd ask you to do with all of these curves is to sketch them. Yeah? You don't have to sketch the whole curve. But what does y equal to x cubed look like? Well, I could get a set of points. When x is 0, what would y be? 0. When x is 1, what would y be? When x is 2, what would y be? 8. And when x is 3, what would y be? So you have a set of coordinates now. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0, 0, 1, 1. 2, 8, 3, 27. So it's a curve that looks something like that. Now that's not perfect, but that's what it looks like. And that's what curve? y equal to x cubed. And I have to get the area between the curve and the x-axis from north up as far as 3. And that's x equal to 3. And that's from that line is x equal to 0. And I'm trying to calculate that area. How would I work out that integral? Well, the area is the integral from a to b of y dx. dx if it's to the x-axis. Which is the integral from a to b, now to 3, of y. x cubed dx. Because y must be written as what? A function in x. Which is equal to x cubed. 1 quarter x to the 4 plus c from 0 to 3, which is 1 quarter of 3 to the 4 plus c 
minus one quarter of zero to the four plus two. Three threes are nine, nine nines are eighty one. Eighty one over four plus c minus zero minus c, which is eighty one over four square u. Any questions? So when you integrate, what are you actually taking it? Calculating area. And it's the area from where? The curve to the axis. So, right? Now, one other little piece of information that you need to go on to do these. And I said to you that when you get one of these, it's a good idea to skip. If I gave you a curve like so, and if I asked you to work out the area enclosed between that curve and the x-axis, you'd be trying to calculate that area, and you'd be trying to calculate that area. That area, area 1, turns out to be positive. In other words, when I get its area, it would come out to be 10 square units. This area, area 2, is negative. So when I work out its area, it should be minus 15 square units. They must be done separate. If I integrate from there to there all together, I would get an answer of 5. That being a plus 10, this being a minus 15, they would cancel. So area above the x-axis has to be done separate. So that area, if that's A and B, area 1 is the integral from A to B of Y dx. And that point to be C. What would area 2 be? The integral from B to C of Y, D, X. Area above the X axis and area below the X axis has to be treated separately. Therefore, you will have to sketch the graph. And what's the most important point you're going to be looking for? Where it intersects the X axis. That is a positive area and that is a negative area. Have you any questions? All right, for example, find the area bounded by the curve y equal to x squared minus 4, the x-axis from 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 4. Now, some of this graph is below the x-axis, and some of it is above the x-axis. So if I did it all in one integral from 0 to 4, some of the positive area would cancel some of the negative area. Do you understand? So what's your first job to do? To sketch it. And you're best off, the best way for you to sketch y equal to x squared minus 4 is you only need to know what happens the graph from 0 to 4. This is a quadratic x squared. What shape is it going to have? It's going to have a u shape. The best way is to calculate the points. When x is 0, when x is 0, what would y be? Minus 4. When x is 1, what would y be? When x is 2, what would y be? When x is 3, and when x is 4, 12. Yeah? So you could now sketch this graph. And we're not looking for a masterpiece. We're looking for something that you will be able to look at and work out its area. It would work out as 0 minus 4, 1 minus 3, 2 is 0, 3, 5, and 4. Well, so the graph will look like so. What do I know is going to happen this graph? It's going to turn and go back up. It's an x squared graph. But I am trying to work out the area between the curves. That's the line x equal to 0. Up as far as that's the line x equal to 4. So the area between the curve and the x-axis, that's one area. And the area between the curve and the second axis, that's the second area. 
what do I know this area is going to turn out to be? Negative. And this area is going to turn out to be? Therefore, they must be treated separately. And I need to know that value there. And I know that's x equal to 2. I know that area 1 is the integral from a to b of y dx. It is equal to the integral from 0 to 2. What's y equal to? x squared minus 4 dx, which is equal to 1 third x cubed minus 4x plus c from 0 to 2. And when I work that out, I know I'm going to get what number? A negative value. Have you any questions? It turns out to be minus 16 over 3. You can mathematically do that yourself. Area 2 is equal to the integral from A to B, or from B to C, if we want to call it, of Y, D, X. It's the integral from 2 to 4 of X squared minus 4, D, X. And when I work out that integral and get it out, it turns out to be 16. What's the total area then? It's 16 plus 16 over 2. Why not minus? You can't have a negative area. That's an area and that's an area. But what about the area below the x-axis? It will turn out to be negative. The area above the x-axis? Positive. So therefore you must always calculate what point where it intersects the x-axis. That will be your limit. You'll go from there to there and then another integral from there on. Have you any questions? How do you find that? Do you think that's okay? The integration part of it is easy integration. Yes? You will have to sketch the curve. Um, in all the years I have done this, the best way for you to sketch the curve is in the limits they give you from 0 to 4, you calculate the point. You don't care what's happening in the curve outside of those points when you're trying to get an area. Yeah? I could, I would have done this one then. Um, if I was to draw y equal to x squared minus 4, I'd see where it cuts the x-axis. So therefore, where it cuts the x-axis, what's y? 0, right? So I'd have x squared minus 4 is equal to 0. That's the difference of 2 squares. x plus 2 by x minus 2 is 0. So x is minus 2 and x is 2. That's where it cuts the x-axis. That's 2 and minus 2. I then know a spot shape of a graph quadratic graph, so I just draw it in that way. Yeah. But that doesn't work for every curve, because cubics are a 1 over x. So, within the domain you're given, what are you best to do? Work out a few points and just sketch it within that curve. And your most important point is